so I created the entrance to the island. Now what? What happens when you enter the island? Do you just come into the entrance and, and call it good? Nah, nah, you gotta check into my island, okay? This ain't no free real estate. You gotta come in and check in. So you know what we're gonna do today? We're gonna work on the check-in counter of everything. And that's exactly why, oh, <laughs> this room is gonna be our check-in area. I have some work to do. We're gonna get onto that right now. So let's pick our items. I was going for a nook cranny look, which I already started with the wallpaper and the flooring. So half of the problem is done. Now, all that's needed is a few bit more nook inspired stuff, which I know I have some nook and cranny stuff. I just got to find it and I'm going to plop it in the middle of the freaking room just, just to get it out here. I, I don't know if I'm going to decorate it completely like with Halloween stuff because it is October. So maybe, but I think I'm going to leave that for the outside decorations. Maybe we could put a few pumpkins and stuff around just to kind of, oh, just to kind of like show off that it is what it is. But I don't think that's a main necessity at this point. Obviously, we need some plants. So we're going to go with some fan palms. Maybe a few monsteras, and those should be good. We need a trash can, but I think, yeah, I think I'm gonna go for a, like a little garbage garbage pail, just just something to look a little fancy. We're gonna go for a drink machine too, cause that would fit in. We clearly need some kind of register, so maybe I should go for the the modern, just just cause cause it's not it's not like oh my god, it went on top of the drink machine. <laughs> but yeah, just cause I want I want a little bit of that. Uh, flair of like you're buying a ticket inside of Terra if you're not from Terra. Ooh, some pots. Well, we already have flowers and stuff like that. I don't think we'll need any more pots. Next up, I think we need a counter space. So I didn't really look to see if I had any counter space. I kind of wish I had those uh buildings that whatever they called when you go onto that like work island and you unlock countertops. I think it's countertop, but I'm not sure. I wanted that, but I don't have it right now. So I'm not gonna necessarily worry about it yet. But I am gonna do some kind of countertop just to get going. Uh unfortunately I don't have a lot of good options here. We're gonna look into my phone. Oh, no, Wendy, why? I'm working. You're not my bestie. Get. Get. How'd you even get to the front door? There's no entrance to my front door other than go through the pipe. Uh, okay. Let me deal with this unwanted villager. and We'll go on from here. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's check our phone for any countertops. Maybe I need to buy some. I'm pretty sure I have some. I, that's why I'm confused why I couldn't find any. So I'm going to look through here. I think I want to go for a couple den desks. Just so they look like little seating areas where you get checked in. So I think I'm going to go for that. I'm going to place an order for at least three of them. I'm, I'm not going to use that many, but you never know. And then we'll check some other stuff and see what else we could use. We want it to look a little cozy, right? So a fireplace would be good. I think I have a fireplace, so I'm going to hold off until I look. Oh my god, a blue garbage pail would be so much better. I think I'm going to go with that one too. Okay, I think I got what I need. I think I just got to wait until they get ordered. And that's going to be tomorrow but I, i'll i'll skip to it don't worry i'll skip we'll need some bookshelves we'll, although we'll need to get them co colored just so they look a little bit better and matching the everything tool shelves would work oh my god tool shelves would work really well in here we'll need a chair for the counter space which if i'm going for a counter gaming chairs would look decent but i don't think that would match the whole vibe we're going for we want like nice you know business and whatever plush massage chair would look nice too um maybe i should go for looks like i don't have any good office chairs so i'll have to order some but we'll need some waiting room chairs so we'll just take two sofas and call that good and then some rugs we'll need some carpets so we want to go for a nook's cranny kind of look because this is now nook island so a botanical rug like that would look good a bell rug would be perfect I think that's all the rugs that I'm going to do in here. And for wall portraits, we're going to have to look through all the wall stuff to see exactly what we want in here. I'll look at all the, like, the tabletop stuff once I get like an actual table to work off of. But for wall stuff, we're going to obviously need a light switch. We're going to need... Some wall planners would be nice, but it's not necessary right now. We'll do some Nook ink posters around. A cork board for planning. That'd be good. Key holders would be great as well. A spider web for the Halloween decorations. That'll work. We got an exit sign too. That'd be great. Ooh, we could show off all our awards as an island, you know? And some artworks. 
Jack is out right now, so I'm gonna do Jack for now. We could do some nice wood shade light. Oh my god, hanging cube light looks great. But I like this one better. I'm gonna go for the pendant light. Oh, there's so many options here. There's so many options. I think that's all I'm gonna go for though. As you can see, this looks like a complete mess. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do to pretty up things. I'm going to grab some of this stuff so I could actually get them designed and stuff and changed up. Uh, and then tomorrow, we'll grab those other furniture items, which will be on this video. Don't worry. Tomorrow for me, video for you. We'll make our way to that island. I don't think I think I would rather go to the island than decorate it myself because I feel like that takes forever. So we'll see you in an island in three, two, one. And we're here through the magic of editing. Fantastic work. All right, let's get on to this. I want to get my stuff decorated, y'all. So let's see what y'all can offer. Let's hope I can, or, like, decorate most of my stuff. Especially that couch. Oh, my God, that couch was ugly. So let's try it. Let's see what we got. So we got brown. We got black. We got light brown. We got white. We're kind of wanting to go for lighter toned colors just to match up with Nook's kind of look. So I think a white couch would actually do better. So I'm going to go with white because if I do too dark, it's going to clash a lot. And I, don't, I think I want some lighter vibes going on in there. That way, when you're spending your money, you don't feel like you're ripped off. Speaking of which, I don't know exactly the fee of the island is going to be, but I'm going to charge. I'm going to charge a pretty penny, too. Oh, my God. Green looks great for this. I might do green for the tool shelves, but I didn't grab all of them. I didn't grab all of them. Dang it. I'll have to go back and grab it. Well, maybe I only need one. I feel like doing two would be too much. Even the bookshelves. Maybe I should have done another bookshelf, too, like a different color. I should have grabbed everything just in case. Well, you live and you learn. Now to the bookshelf. I Honestly, there are no great colors. Light brown might have worked, but I think we're going to stick with white just to kind of get that theme going on. But I, at least the other one is white, so I thought there was going to be more options like the green shelf, but I guess not. I guess we'll, we'll stick with what we got. I'm okay. I'm okay. Now I don't feel so bad as uh, not grabbing everything. We could do a white cash register too. I can't do my garbage can, but I could do the cork, cork board, so that's okay. We're going to stick with white. You know what? You know what we're going to do? Just for the fun of it. Sub to random square. Yep, that's right. That's going to be that's gonna be right in front of the I island just as soon as you come in. And uh, if you haven't already and you're watching this video, do exactly what the cork board says, okay? It is absolutely correct. You should totally sub to random square while we ominously teleport back home. What's next? Oh, also, look at these little plants. They look great. They kind of look great here. I kind of like the vibe. I mean, I messed up a little bit on those. Okay, back on the decorating, but I can't really decorate without the rest of the stuff. So through the power of editing, I'm going to bring it all to us. So we'll see you in a bit. I got the den desks, but honestly, the color, so I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go decorate these den desks through the power of editing I will be there in one second and we made it. I am so sorry Cyrus. I'm back again, but I promise this will probably be the last one I can't really promise that but Okay, I guess white is our way to go because I like the color scheme that nook has he has like white Baby blue and light green. They're all pretty colors and they really complement each other. I'm trying to stick to that. Trying. It's it's kind of hard. When a lot of these furniture items don't have that kind of color scheme. Especially this one. I was hoping to put the den desk as like a green or a blue. But you can't win them all, I suppose. Our third den desk is done. And we will see you in one second through the power of editing. And we're back. Like nothing ever happened. So let's get back to decorating this room. Let's put the den desks back and then the trash can and get rid of this trash can. And wow, this is a lot to work with. So I got to figure out exactly what I'm going to want to do. I think I know what I want to do. So I want to put a little bit of the waiting area stuff right here. And here. I could totally cover that room there, but hold on. Would it, we could kind of make it like a tiny opening like that. So it's a small room and then I could, a small entrance. I don't like how big the entrances are to the hallways and stuff like that, but we could put the couches with this right there. I, I got to figure out what to do with these plants. It's so crowded. I should have put everything at the end, but I kind of wanted to, to make it feel more roomy after I did everything. So I don't want the money one yet. 
I actually want this one to kind of be the centerpiece of, of this area. And we're gonna do another couch right here. Here, no, it, I don't like it there. We're gonna have to move some of this stuff out of the way. Right here. There we go. And that way, there's like a little, a little reading area off in the side. But I don't like how close this bookcase is to the wall because it doesn't look right to me for some reason. I think it's because of this little corner here. How could you reach it when the couch is so close? Maybe I could do like the couch waiting right right here. And then have a flower here or, or one of the plants here. I think that's that works. We'll, we'll, we'll keep going with it. Maybe I could put it right here. And then make the garbage pan right there. The monstera I want to keep together. So I'm going to keep the fan palm over here. Just to kind of like give it a little flair. Oh boy, oh boy. We could slide this baddie right here. Well, I don't want it too close to the to the waiting area. And honestly, the waiting area is kind of out of place for me. If if there was a way I could make these bookcases smaller, I totally would. But I guess I'm going to have to settle with one like that and then one like that. It doesn't work well for me. Maybe I could move this down one, this down one, but then it doesn't work at all. <laughs> I wish there wasn't a door there, man. I wish I could move it. Can I? Don't use windows right now. We're not, we're not concerned about the windows. Um, I can't move the door, which is unfortunate, but I can move that. The waiting room is going to be tiny if I put it in that corner. Which I wanted to kind of have a cozy vibe, a bigger vibe. So maybe I should put it in this corner. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to put the fan palm right in the corner here. I'm going to put the bookcase here. And then I'm going to shake the other bookcase. Actually, I'm going to move you. I'm going to move you. I'm going to have to move these too. And then put the bookcase right here. Put the couch right here. And then the other couch right here. Put the rug right there. Put the monstera in the corner. But then you can't reach it there. I don't. I don't know how I can make it so this is more. Uh, like like you could actually go in and chill. Maybe I have too many couches. I feel like you could walk through. I feel like this is fine. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I can move this over here so it's a small door right there, and then also move the fan palm here. No, I don't like it close to the wall. I like it right there. We could keep the fan palm in the corner there. And then maybe we could put... The drink machine would not go well there, though. My only issue is it pops out too much, which I don't like. Maybe I could add another table, actually. May yeah, a magazine table or something like that. Something smaller that would fit there perfectly. And I could use, like, a white garden table to kind of set it off. I don't like the garden table, though, necessarily. It doesn't really match the vibe of the room. And neither does the... Um, maybe the bookcase is my problem here. Maybe I should not utilize the bookcase. It's a, it's a hard one. It's a hard decision. I think I know what my problem is. I think I need to get rid of this. And I think I need to pull some stuff further away. Right here. And then the Zen desk. Maybe I'll start with this area next flip this around well no the zendex needs to be the other way around there we go and then we could open up just a walk through here we could close it up here and hopefully i have enough yes so now that looks like a full counter space right maybe i can open it up right here no no i think this will be fine it doesn't connect directly but that's okay it doesn't have to so i could put the cash register right here at the entrance way and it'll be kind of like a forming line right here that'll be fine and then i can move this right here so it's kind of like on your way while you're waiting you could see it there the trash can should be up in this corner the monstera plant is perfect right there i like the monstera plant there but i'm actually going to curve it so it's more like facing outwards so that closed portion would be right there there's no windows on the walls right now um i think that's fine since this is like a main room um this little shelf here shouldn't really be back here i think i'd like it better if it was up against this wall so it looks like i have stuff working which means i'd have to move this just a tad bit over 
And on the counter space, I will figure that out later. I'm still working on this area, but the bell is actually going to be right at the entryway. Kind of showing off top. Well, I don't know where I'd want the bell, actually. Maybe the bell doesn't work. Maybe I can put it here. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I could set it like right off in this area. I think I like it there. I think so. I think I will. I think I'll keep it right. I don't know. It's hard to say where I'd want it. Maybe I could just keep it here. Well, there's more waiting. You know what? Actually, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add another waiting area right here. The trash can's going to have to move. Maybe right here was fine before it. Uh, I don't think I don't think the couch. Maybe I should only do one couch. I think maybe I should only do one couch. Or the bookcases are in the way. Maybe I could do the couches against the wall like so. Ah, ah, I'm grabbing everything but the couch. And then you are coming here too. Over here like such. The plants might be a little bit too much in that corner, but that's okay. I could set the bookcase right here and then set another one right here. So at least the little waiting room's kind of blocked off from everything. I kind of wish I had more walls to block everything off, but the monster is going to have to go. We could put the bookshelf right here and then put the other bookshelf right here right here kind of partitioning off but then there's not a lot of walkway here so maybe i should do what i was initially gonna do which was oh boy and then set you right there that at least leaves a little entry room for that <sighs> what am i doing that i don't like maybe i should set the couch here there we go. Set you here. Set you right here. I think that should be plenty of space for reading and whatnot. No, I still don't like it. Maybe I could set another movement right here. Perfect. And then there's a bookshelf here. But now I got this empty spot, which I think I could just fill with a poster. With like a poster right here. And then the trophies could go right here. Maybe that's what I'm feeling uncomfortable with is the walls. The walls aren't lining up for me the way that I want them to. So it's making me uncomfortable. But I could put one right here so it's not directly in the middle. Right here and then right here. Or I could kind of like space them like this. So it's halfway up and then halfway up. But then I'd have to fix the couches. Which is okay. This is exactly, this is getting better for me. So fix the couch right there. Then I should be able to move a, I can't move a plant there. Unfortunately, it's too far in the corner, but that's okay. That's okay. The waiting area looks a little bit better. I think I actually want to put a couch here still. And then leave the couch right there. It's too close to the bookcase right here. Which is a little bit worrisome, but that's okay because it doesn't necessarily need to not be. I think I have too many bookcases. So maybe getting rid of one would open up the room a little bit. Bringing this in a little bit. Pulling this out just a tad. I, th I just think that the bookcase looks really odd right there. But then I'd have to move you, which is okay. We could put you here. You here you here and let's do two away from the wall two away from here it's two away from the wall there too what am i to do that looks a little bit more spaced out and that way it has like kind of that look then this is open okay okay this is looking better this rug is gonna have to either go behind here or not go anywhere at all which it's not really facing anywhere. So that's fine back there. The Monstera still kind of needs its own twinsy next to it. So I'm going to put this fan palm behind here. Actually, I don't even know if I'm saying the right names, but that's okay. Uh, the entryway can have the two Monsteras kind of facing away. That way they got that look of unity. Perfect. Um, I'm going to have to move the light switch over to the... F Actually, the back here. This will be perfect. And then the key holder would be great. 
right here. Same with the cork board. The cork board would be perfect showing right here. And I think I have too much on this wall, so I'm actually going to move this light switch right here. The exit sign, there's only one exit, and that is right here. Well, actually, the exit's going to be right here because this is the actual exit. Once we get the uh, the entrance, it, that'll be fine. We're going to put another painting right here just to show off Nook advertisement a little bit more. Um, this is starting to look great. The only thing I'm missing is a little bit more wall decorations. These don't pop up very well, so I'm going to get rid of those. Let's check out what we have for the walls because it's not exactly looking like I'm filling them up that well. A clock would be perfect so we can get that tick. Maybe we should go for... I like the blue, but it's too dark blue. Also, this poster is too low down, so I'm going to bring them up a little bit. We'll need air conditioner, and we could place that kind of near the waiting room. So maybe we'll place that right here. Just so we can get that vibrant ambiance, too. That sounds so beautiful. A clock. I, I kind of want to go with the cuckoo clock. But also, I like this one, too, the double-sided clock. I can't really center that that well, but that's okay. We could put the dou the double-sided clock here. There we go. What else do we what else would we like here? Let's put Jack's portrait since it's Halloween. Oh, wait, where would I put it though? Maybe I could put it here. Or the waiting room would be perfect. I could slide it right there. I'm still missing something. I know I'm missing the chair up in the back. I think I'm just going to go for a stool. Because <laughs> looking through it is kind of a pain. I don't want my worker standing up. That's for sure. And since it's me, I'm going to be the worker. I want to be sitting down. I think a stool would be perfect for this kind of situation. A boxy stool might work. I think I'll go for the boxy stool. Because it kind of works still. And then I could put it right here or I'll put it right here no right here there we go okay next up on the agenda I still want some more wall decorations for the top there maybe I could do since it's Halloween maybe I should do a little bit more Halloween welcome there we go there we go it's coming together intercom would be perfect just so we could communicate so intercom maybe right here would be fine bam and then some oh i did not mean to grab that some potted ivy we could place right here and i love the walls i love it there's a little bit of empty space here that i'm not completely sure what i want to do with but maybe it's fine that way you know maybe it's good because maybe this will be oh oh trash can there we go Trash can's far away from everybody. It works out really well. We got a really nice little entryway, and I think I'm going to go for it. I like the lighting, but I think I might change that. Just move it somewhere, kind of like in the waiting room right here. Kind of to center it off and look nice. So let's check out what it looks like. First person. Bam, when you come to the entryway, you got the rooms right there looking nice. You got a little waiting room back here. You got some books. You got the trash can up in the corner. You got the little exit sign to show you where the exit is. I might raise it a tiny bit. You got the clock up there telling you how long you have to wait. And right behind the little area, you got some keys up here. Because I might make some of the spare rooms here just in case. Because if someone's visiting the island, they get a choice from the campsite or in here. But I got the cash register here and... A nice look at the whole room. It is fantastic. I absolutely love it. I am enjoying it. And the last bit of decoration we need is a beautiful picture to kind of set off the mood. If I can get on the chair. <laughs> there we go. No, on the chair. And face the other way. Face the other way. There we go. Now let's get a nice snapshot. We got all angles, sort of. We only get a few angles of the other side, but that's okay. We're going to do a little laughter and snap. That's our area. 
And I think I'm going to end it there because I like it so far. I like where it came out. And we're going to work on some more of the rooms next time. This is our little Nook's waiting room. We'll add a bathroom. We'll add some bedrooms to, like, let off. And then some restaurant, eatery, cafe areas next time. Thank you guys for coming out to this video. It was nice having you. Let me know in the comments what you think about this room. Have a really good night. Do not let the bitter bugs bite. Have a great morning if it's morning. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.